Hey, welcome back guys, this is Karate Fox, and here is the Spokane Portland and Seattle 700 steam locomotive. So it's served in the Pacific Northwest in Washington and Oregon, and uh, here's what it looks like. It's an E1 class, 484, and it is uh, manufactured by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It's a northern type, and it runs on oil. So if you go in the back tender here, that is an oil tender. And uh, this actually is uh, featured in the Oregon Rail Heritage Center next to Southern Pacific 4449. So um, those two locomotives can go together. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the build. It's actually commissioned by Trainmaster3985. So thanks to him for making this video possible. And let's get started. So first thing we do, we take out another brick stairs. And then we're going to go in the middle of the tracks. And we're just going to build one side at a time, just the symmetrical parts first. So we're going to make this two blocks wide like that. Then we're going to add a dark oak slab in the middle for the coupling. Another brick slab behind it. And then uh, two nether brick stairs, but the inward, inside is going to be facing inwards. Next, we're going to go down here, add a dark oak fence gate in the middle, right behind that pilot. And we're going to open it up towards the back. Then behind it, um, the tracks, we're going to add a wheel, which is a black concrete. Then we're going to add uh, two blocks long nether brick slab, another black concrete. And we're going to add four blocks long nether brick slab in the middle, like so. And then um, add black concrete in the middle on top, all the way across, like so. And the front, we're going to add an upside down nether brick stairs right here. Next, we're going to add a 2x2 two two black concrete sticking out. Underneath here, we're going to add dark oak trap doors and a dark oak button to the side of the front wheel and to the side of the cylinder. Then we'll add two nether brick stairs on this edge like this. Then go right over here in the front of that, add an upside down one facing the back, diagonally another one upside down facing the back like so. Then we're going to go behind the cylinder, add another brick slab in the front, and cyan terracotta next to it behind it actually. Then we're going to add two cyan terracottas on top. And uh, then in the middle here we want to make three blocks tall like that. And then we're going to go in the front of this, we're going to extend it by two blocks, try to make a half of a plus sign. Extend it like that. And then we're going to extend two blocks back. Just the same cross shape. Well, half of the cross. Like so, while still ha holding that pillar down there. And then the front one half um, another brick stairs for the lamp. Like so, with a dark oak underneath. Then we're going to add an item frame with a white glass pane inside of it. To the side, we're going to add a dark oak sign. And on top, we're going to add a bell, an actual Minecraft bell. Then on the sides of this um, smoke box, we're going to add in um, stone brick stairs right there in the corner. And the bottom corner as well, just fill in these gaps. And like so. On the roof, we're going to add a stone brick slab, spruce trap door, um, sand terracotta with a gray carpet on top. Then we want to move down here and add an iron trap door, two blocks down there in the middle. Then we'll add two white carpets right down here, diagonally down, and black stained glass pane side of the boiler, and diagonally down, two more black glass panes like so. Then we're gonna go right here to the center underneath and add sand terracotta here, black concrete in the front in the middle. And then we're gonna add another brick slab here, another brick wall next to it, and another brick stairs right there facing the back. All right, so now we're gonna make one of these driving wheels. So let's go here, take out another brick stairs, and uh, we're gonna go and add an upside down uh, another brick stairs. It's gonna be three blocks wide, while the middle stairs, it's gonna face towards the back. So we should have this. And then we're going to add an upside down one on the sides with a right side one up in the middle. So let's do that. Then on top, we're going to add 
another brick stairs in the top corners like that and in the middle we want to make sure that it is facing upside down towards the front so we basically have this pattern for the wheels then we're going to go on the inside part take out black concrete extend this all the way across and right behind this wheel we're going to add three nether brick slabs like that so then we're going to be building the wheels the same exact way and remember to include this back portion here just skip a block of space add a wheel and then we're going to have four of these wheels alright so once we have all of these wheels make sure you do the back portion and then we're going to connect the middle parts together using black concrete cross like so and for the outer edge we're going to add another brick wall right in between each of these wheels then we're going to go underneath and add another brick slab underneath that black concrete between each of the wheels like so all right, so now we're going to go on the inside part right behind this sand terracotta. We're going to replace this slab with the stairs. And then we're going to skip to these two, delete this block here, add a black concrete, and another brick wall right behind it. Next, we're going to skip these three, add another brick wall here, right here, and then two black concretes behind it. Then we're going to skip this slab here and add another brick wall right there. And then we're going to go back down here and we're going to go um, and add uh, these two nether brick slabs right on top of each other like so. And right behind that we're going to add another brick wall here and we're going to make it two blocks wide cross like that. So then we're going to extend this nether brick block and a slab here dark oak trap door on top another brick slab right behind it and on top we're going to make it two blocks long and then another brick stairs facing towards the front right behind it we want an upside down one two blocks long then right side up facing the back and then another brick slab right there in that top corner then we're going to go right down underneath and add cyan terracotta around the anvil and that's going to be our wheel and let's add hopper to the side of it then we're going to skip two blocks and add another wheel here add hopper to the side and nether brick stairs right in front of that wheel then we're going to add two nether brick slabs here and another nether brick slab to the back and we're going to make this go extend all the way to the middle then we're going to add two black concretes right here in the middle and then we're going to go to the side here and add another brick wall, another brick fence, another brick wall, another brick fence. And then we're going to make this fence part three blocks long like so. And we're going to go right behind this black concrete, another brick wall again, another brick stairs, and then two nether brick slabs. So then we're going to go right behind this front wheel, diagonally up, and add another brick fence right there. Then we're going to take stone. Go on top of this black concrete and add five. One, two, three, four, and five. Add an upside down uh, stone stairs right there. Stone block on top. Stone stairs facing towards the front upside down. And a stone slab underneath. Then we're going to go to the back and add three black concretes right behind the stone. And then we'll add in this upside down nether brick stairs, two dark oak fence gates in the front, and nether brick slabs all the way to the front, like so. Then I'm going to add two dark oak trap doors here. Add upside down nether brick stairs, two blocks tall, nether brick slab underneath. Then we'll add dark oak fence gate right here, open it up. And then go down here, dark oak fence gate with uh, dark oak trap doors in the front and in the back of this. Then we're to go up to this cab area, uh, take out iron trap door. And I'm going to make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to go to the back part and take out black concrete. Two blocks tall here and then add another two blocks the bottom row. Add two birch buttons on the bottom 
and on top we're going to add this white glass block or light gray glass block right on top in the front we're going to add upside down nether brick stairs like so and then a right side up nether brick stairs facing towards the inside of the cab and then a row across with nether brick stairs across like that nether brick slab in the back and go right down in the middle go down out add nether brick slabs all the way across like so and in the front we're going to add in two nether brick slabs and then a dark oak trap door which we're going to open it up and then we'll add in two more nether brick slabs like so then we're going to go in the front and add two nether brick slabs then two dark oak trap doors and then a two by three of black concrete so three blocks tall two blocks wide like that and then we're going to extend this black concrete right here to the side all the way to the front like so and then we're going to go back over here go diagonally inwards and add black concrete all the way across the top section like so and then we're going to go back over here again um, we're going to go to the side here and add two black concretes, fill in that hole here. Also fill in this black concrete uh, interior as well next to the windows. Fill that in as well, like that. And then we'll go back over here to the side. In front of the stone we're going to add black concrete all the way across to the front area. All right. Then we'll add nether brick stairs uh, upside down and also this top row and then we're going to extend this all the way across like so and it's going to take us a while and then we'll I guess we'll work on the upper detail so for the top part we'll skip this block here dark oak trap door wither skeleton skull face in the back dark oak button skip a block dark oak button skip a block dark oak button then dark oak fence gate facing towards the cab. Skip a block, nether brick slab. Skip two blocks, oak slab. Then another brick slab. Then skip a block, wither skeleton skull facing towards the back. Then we're gonna add in end rods. So let's go start uh, right at this cab, all the way across. Till we go to the front. So I'll tell you when to stop. It goes right uh, before this uh, black stained glass pane like that. Then we're going to go to the side right where the black starts and add iron trap doors all the way across. This is going to be the running boards right to the front of the cab. Alright so now we're going to make the side rods. So go down here add in two deer right walls, a birch fence gate, polished deer right stairs facing towards the back, polished deer right slab, an upper slab like that, deer right wall, polished deer right stairs facing the back, and then three iron trap doors, polished deer right slab, three more trap doors, polished deer right slab, then we'll move on to the front and add two uh, iron trap doors like that. Then a polished to your right slab. Go on the top section, two polished to your right slabs, iron trap door, uh, another brick stairs facing towards the front, and an upper nether brick uh, slab. Then we're to go to the bottom here and add iron trap door underneath. Make it go all the way to the back of this rod. Then we're going to go to the side of this and uh, we're going to add a little ladder. So take out dark oak uh, fence gates. We're going to make a column of three blocks and we're going to make them all opened up. Next we're going to go to the side of the firebox and we're going to go down here, take out the dark oak sign and place that right in front of the stairs. Then dangling up, we're going to add in three of these 
dark oak trap doors with a dark oak fence gate right in front of it. Then we'll add in three upper trap doors like this made of dark oak. Then we'll go on the inside of the cab, go in the middle here, add a dark oak trap door, close it up. Nether brick slab to the side of it and a dark oak stairs facing towards the front. Then I'm going to add um, light gray carpet all the way across, like so on the inside. Then we're going to go to our loom and we're going to make this banner. It's going to be a gray banner with black dye. Make a border around it. Put that back in. And we're going to go to the bottom half of it. And then we'll place that to the back of this right there. Then we're going to go to the front area where the cylinder is and add a dark oak bun right in that nook. All right, so once we're done with that, we're going to flip it off to the other side. All right, so once you have both sides, it should look like this. Now we're going to work on the asymmetrical parts. So let's go down over here and add in these two dark oak fence gates. Open them up. Then we're going to go to this side. Line it up with the chimney and add a stone button with another brick fence right behind it. Then we'll add in two iron trap doors here. And then we'll go up at iron trap door here. And then we're to skip these two uh, trap doors, delete this block here, add a dark oak uh, fence gate top to bottom, open up the top one. Then we're going to add two in the front and two in the back of that. Then I'm going to add another brick slab, another brick uh, fence with a dark oak fence gate underneath. Then on top, we're going to add two nether brick walls. Then on top, we're going to add two nether brick slabs with two nether brick walls. And then we're going to add two dark oak uh, fence gates, open up the bottom one. And then two nether brick slabs, then two nether brick walls. And then we'll add a dark oak fence gate right up here. Then we're gonna go to this cab area. Right behind the trap door, we're gonna add dark oak uh, fence gate and then two nether brick fences on top, like so. Go on the top section, let's add a wither skeleton skull facing inwards, right there on the edge. Then we're gonna go on the other side, line up with this sign. Dark oak fence gate here, and then another brick um, fence on top. Dark oak fence gate right behind it, open it up. Then we're to move on to the front, add a dark oak trap door here, open it up. Dark oak, I mean dark oak fence gate, and then dark oak trap door. And then two dark oak fences, dark oak fence gate, dark oak fence, dark oak fence gate dark oak fence, and then three dark oak fence gates, and then nether brick slab. Then we're going to add dark oak fence gates all the way across to the other side. Matches up with that nether brick fence. Then we'll move on to the front again and add in iron trap doors, two blocks like that. Dark oak fence gate here and open it up. Take out dark oak trap doors and we're going to line that up three blocks past this nether brick slab here. So one, two, three, like that. Then we're gonna go underneath the cab area and we're gonna extend this uh, nether brick stairs, a block like that, just on the side. Next, we're gonna go in the front and add two nether brick walls on the left-hand side, nether brick fence on the right-hand side. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with the main engine. Now we're gonna make the tender, so Go right down over here and add black concrete right there in the center and make it two blocks wide like this. And make it 18 blocks long. So once you have a two by 18, go to the back, add another brick block in the middle, another brick slab, another brick stairs. Then we're gonna add dark oak um, slab right there in the middle for the coupling. And then we'll add in a row across of dark oak trap doors, like so. Then on top, we're going to add two um, black carpets, like so. 
they want to go down here, skip this block here, add a gray terracotta, upside down, nether brick stairs, gray terracotta, upside down, nether brick stairs, gray terracotta, upside down, nether brick stairs. Then we're going to add hoppers to the sides of the wheels with a dark oak fence gate. Then we'll add in upside down nether brick stairs above the hoppers and right side up for the rest. Then we'll move on to the back part and we'll skip this black concrete, add gray terracotta again, uh, nether brick stairs, gray terracotta, then have three of these wheels in the back with uh, hoppers and fence gates to the sides of this. And then we'll add upside down nether brick stairs right above the hoppers and right side up on the inside part like so. Then we'll add in nether brick slab cross like so all the way across. And then we'll add dark oak uh, sign right to the side of this stairs. And go to the other side, do the same thing, the side of that stairs. And then on the bottom, we're going to add another brick slab. Just skip one block away from the back wheel, like so. Then we're going to go to the front and add another brick slab here. Then a three blocks tall, two blocks wide black concrete. Then we're going to go to this back part. Skip this black concrete, two blocks wide, black concrete, and then upside down another brick stairs. Wrap that all the way around that black concrete. Then we're going to add black concrete on the inside part all the way across to meet up with the front part. So then we're going to add another brick stairs upside down and then we're going to add it every other block. And then we'll add another brick walls in between each of them with a row of black concrete on the top of it. All the way across and wrap that around the back. All right, then we're going to go right above this fence gate, top row, add in two oak buttons like that. Inside part, we're going to add this yellow terracotta, two blocks wide like that. And then two dark oak buttons on the inside part. Also add dark oak button to the bottom corner right there. Then we're going to take black concrete, add the rest of the row, wrap that all the way around uh, to this back part. Then to the back, we're going to add black concrete here, nether brick stairs, and then nether brick wall here. And then we're going to extend this nether brick wall until it's two blocks in between that and the yellow. Extend that all the way across, and then we'll add black concrete on the inside part. Two blocks wide, then add that all the way across. Then the back part, we're going to add dark oak um, fence here skip block and then add it every other block then we'll add in fence gates in between for the rest and to the back part we'll add four blocks tall dark oak uh, fence gates open them all up and then the back we'll add dark oak trap door here nether brick stairs facing the front on top and then an item frame with a yellow glass pane in the front of that, there's going to be a lever, and we're going to face that towards the back and close that trap door. Then we'll add in two dark oak buttons right there. Then we're going to skip this block here, add two dark oak trap doors, skip a block, add another two. Then we'll move up over here to the front area. Then we're going to add two nether brick walls here, two blocks tall like that. Add black concrete, three blocks tall next to it and add an upper nether brick slab on top of the wall with black concrete right behind it. Then we're going to add dark oak trap doors, two blocks like that, uh, nether brick stairs facing towards the front like that, and black concrete all the way across. Then we'll add in dark oak trap doors all the way across on top. Then we're going to go to the front and add in black concrete, make a V shape, or like half of a V, and then we'll fill in this middle part with black concrete and place a flower pot. Then we'll add two nether brick slabs like that and a dark oak trapdoor right up there. 
Then we're going to take out black concrete and fill in this middle section in all the way across. Since it is an oil tender, there is no coal. Then we'll add in two nether brick slabs here. Go to the front, skip a block, and add trapdoor right there in the middle. And then we'll need to add in the axles for the wheels, so take out dark oak uh, fence gates and add them to all of them. And you might as well go to the front area where we have these axles, the trailing wheels, and add in those axles as well because I forgot that. It's just a little minor detail which I don't even know if you can notice it. Anyways, back to over here, uh, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Once we have both sides, let's go down on this side, add a dark oak fence gate here, open it up. And then go right above here and add a black concrete just on this side. So yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle number 700 in Minecraft. And thanks to Trainmaster3985 for commission this build. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.